In order to update our comments in the reducer here, we need to be familiar with what the data for our comments looks like. So I've just opened up our comment state right here, and it's a big object, which each of the items is a key for that associated post here. And if you open that up, that is an array with all of the different comments that live inside of it. Now, when we want to add a comment, we don't really need to update the entire comment state. We just need to work on this one specific code, or if we're adding comment to this one, we need to work on that specific code. So just as we split up our state into two pieces, we had a big state, like let's pretend this object is our state. We had posts and we had comments, and we sort of had a reducer for each of them. What we're going to do is we're going to create another sub reducer that is going to handle the updating of just one of these specific pieces. And that's what's called reducer composition. So uh, if you ever are reading the Redux documentation, and I recommend that you do because it's fantastic, is they put it really nicely. They say now to do app gives us just a slice of the state. So we only want a slice of the state, which is just one of these things right here to update. Um, and to do knows how to update just that slice. This is called the reducer composition, and it is a fundamental pattern of building Redux apps, which we've learned. We, we comp compose these two into one, and now we're going to go one step further and sort of make a sub reducer uh, inside of that. So let's get cracking on that. We're going to have one function called comments, which is going to handle the entire comment state. And then we're going to create a secondary function called post comments. And that will handle the updating of the individual one. So let's go into this first one right here. We're going to still going to export the comments one. And we're going to say if we just need to check, make sure that uh, this reducer needs to run. So uh, one way that we can do that is we could have done it with the switch statement. But here we're just going to check if the item is there, the post item. So we'll say if type of action dot post ID doesn't equal undefined then we can go ahead and, and do what we want. So we're, we're going to leave this return state in here because if, if this reducer gets called for something else, we want it to just return state and we won't touch it. Inside of this, return the actual uh, state, which is we're going to take everything from state. So what is that doing right here? We're going to take the current state. And then on top of that, we're going to overwrite this post with a new one. And the way that we do that is normally we would say, we would take the key like this. And the key of that is going to be uh, the new array of comments like wow and cool. But we are going to shell that work off of tacking the new comment onto the array to this post comments one right here, as well as this needs to be dynamic. We can't hard code that like that. So we're going to use square brackets so that the key of the object can be a variable action.postid. And that is going to be set to post comments, which will send it the state with the action dot post ID. And we also want to pass along the entire action payload here, right? Because we want to pass it this sub piece of state, which is going to be one of these arrays of comments. And we want to give it the entire action. And that is the reducer composition where uh, it's wiping its hands of it here, and it's just saying, all right, some other function needs to take care of uh, updating that individual one. All I'm concerned with is returning the entire comment state. So we're done here. Actually, make sure that's a capital C. And we'll go up to return state here, and we'll do our regular switch on action.type. We have two cases, add comment and remove comment, as well as our default. And I'm just going to return state on default. I'm going to do it on remove comment for now. We'll come back and update that. And then our add comment is we need to return the existing state plus the new comment. Turn. So what does state need to be? Well, it's going to be a array. And we're going to take every item from the existing state. So we're just going to do dot, dot, dot state. And that will take every item from the existing state and apply it into this new array. And then we will tack on our new comment. Well, what's our new comment here? And do this on a new line. The username is going to be the action.author, and the text is going to be action.comment. And these user and text, these are just the two keys that are required. That's sort of the data as it came off of Instagram for me. I give it a refresh. We're good. And I say Wes, cool. And enter. 
and immediately this has been added. Wes, cool. You see, that this is still here. Let me try another one. Okay, neat. That works. One little thing is like we still have the actual text showing up in here. How can we get rid of that? Well, let's go back to our comments here. And remember when we call this add comment, we can say this dot refs. We gave our form a comment form. And you can just call the reset on it. That's just a regular JavaScript method that lives inside of all forms. Call this once more. There we go. It clears its actual self. So that's adding a comment. And we also want to be able to remove a comment. So let's say console log removing a comment and let's get this hooked up. So we're going to go back to our comments right here. And remember that when we rendered it out, this button gave it a class name, but we did not hook it up. So we can say on click equals this dot props dot remove comment. Now remove comment takes an argument. We go to our action creators. Here it is. It requires two things of you. It requires the post ID as well as the index of that actual comment. So what post are you deleting it from and which index, which, which comment is it going to be the first comment or is it going to be the fifth comment here is we need to pass it an argument where we will use bind in this case, just like we did before we pass it null, then we can pass it this dot props dot params dot post ID. And then we also have that index value, which is I. Now, if we go back to this button here and click X beside one of them, refresh, removing a comment. So it says removing a comment because that is exactly what's running right here, but we are just returning the regular state. So we need to return without the deleted comment. So how do we do that? Well, we return an array again. And we simply just use our spread again, state dot slice. We'll go from the beginning to wherever the comment up into the, the comment. So action dot I, because that's if we are deleting uh, the fifth one, it's going to delete everything up until five from the start to the one we want to delete. And then we want to take state dot slice action dot I plus one, right? Because this is going to be after the deleted one to the end. So let's visualize this. If we have an array here, it says, wow, neat, cool, nice. And if we wanted to delete the third one, essentially what would happen is we would first take wow and neat, and then we would skip cool and we would return nice and we return everything until the end of the array and that's the last one there so that would return it would take this array and return the new state which is this one right here so we've got that up and running it's going to return a new array we want one last thing we actually need here is to delete this state because we are returning a new state we don't need that return state there refresh because this is not a component but i think now if we click on the x you see that it's immediately deleting all of the items from that specific state. So you can kind of see what's going on here. You might have add comment, remove comment, uh, edit comment, where you would return the, the modified state. You would replace the actual item with the new text. You can have all kinds of different actions that happen here. And your reducer is in charge of actually figuring out what to update and returning that updated state.